Thank you to Adobe for sponsoring this video. All right. So I'm thinking about it. The set looks good. I think we need some changes though. Can we put something on that table? Can we change the color? That'll work. Uh, also, that wall, it's too bland with nothing there. What do we have? That eh, looks good. Can you change it? One more time. Perfect. That'll work. All right, let's film. All right, so that wasn't magic how I did that. Uh, before I tell you how I actually did do it, uh, I wanna thank you guys for being awesome, for supporting me all of these years. It's my favorite thing to do, chance to give back, give you a chance to win $500 just for being good human beings. Tell me down below, what's the first thing you would create with Adobe Firefly? Tell me a fact or a joke about yourself. You leave your social handle in the comment or a way to contact you on your YouTube channel so I let you know if you win. Open to anyone in the world, let it run for 10 days, all the information you need will be down below. So, I don't know if you guys saw a few videos back, um, we did a studio tour. We actually just moved into a brand new space. You've kind of seen it start to show up in videos. It's one of the things in my career that I am the most proud of. Um, but buying something tangibly was like predictably very expensive. And there's a lot of things that I want to do in this set and in the space that I just don't have the budget to do right now. Now, five years ago, that would have been a big problem. 10 years ago, that would have been a big problem. We're in 2024, and a lot of problems can now be solved with technology. And that's why what Adobe's doing with Firefly, who, by the way, is celebrating their one year anniversary, so happy anniversary, uh, is incredibly cool. And what Firefly is, if you've never heard of it, it's generative AI that's gonna let you ideate, create, and also edit images. If you've got an idea noodling around in your head, you can create it here. This is not something you need like years of classes or an advanced degree to use. It is incredibly simple. So like, let me show you. All right, so for this demo, I'm just gonna use the web. I'm gonna go to firefly.adobe.com, select the generative fill option. Here you can easily adjust your own photos. So I'll take this one from Tahoe a few years ago. It's obviously a bit empty. So on the side here, uh, select insert and draw the area that I want to add to. And then I can type in anything that I want. So for this, it makes sense to add a ski lodge. After a second, you get a few results and you can either accept one or generate more until you find the one that you want. All right, so I'll do the same here in the middle. I'll add some skiers. Sometimes it takes a few tries, but eventually you'll find something that you like. And there you go. So finally, I want to adjust the sky because it was a bit gloomy that day and I want to make it a sunny day. So I'll just select the sky and type in sunny sky and boom. In a few seconds, I went from this to this. And this is just a super quick example of what you can do. There's a ton more. And we use this every day to help bring content you watch to life. It's not just in the studio or making things appear on a table. This is technology we're using for every thumbnail you see on the channel, for thumbnails on our snap shows. Any image that we put out has generally been run through this. And Firefly was one of Adobe's most successful beta launches ever. Uh, there were 70 million images generated in the first months. So obviously, like there's a lot of interest in this product and it's made by Adobe. This is not like a, like a fly by the night company or like a quick app you download and they'll steal some information and be gone tomorrow. This is a company that's been known for images. They're the guys who make Photoshop, uh, for example, uh, or Premiere Pro. And there's a bunch of ways to use Firefly. You can go online for free and use the Firefly tools to do text to image, generative fill, generative recolor, and text effects. But these features are also built into other Adobe software like Photoshop and Illustrator. So you take that creativity way further. You're already in Photoshop. You can make these things kind of happen almost in real time. In addition to Photoshop and Illustrator, Adobe's also said that they're gonna be bringing Firefly to their video and 3D tools as well. Generative AI is like not a new thing. But when you're creating these images and you're creating text or even sometimes even creating video, oftentimes those are created using copyright images. And this is where things can get like real sticky. So back in the Techno Buffalo days, other websites that I've owned, we used to regularly get copyright emails from these like almost shakedown artists that like you used uh, an image, you think you used it, pay this fee and we'll let it go. 
and they know that it's cheaper to pay that fee than it is to hire an attorney or to make a claim of fair use. And we tried to always make sure we weren't using anything copywritten, but they were right, it was cheaper to pay these. And you can see right here, things like this happened all the time and it got expensive. And that's a big fear with using a lot of these generative AI tools is that they're making their information, they're learning from copywritten images. So Adobe is doing things very big differently. So Firefly is actually training itself on Adobe stock assets. These are assets that Adobe already has the rights to. And in turn, you as the user have the right to use them. That means Firefly safe for commercial use. And you can be assured that you're not stealing someone's copywritten work. And if you do have somehow happen to get one of these dreaded letters, uh, Adobe is going to stand behind it and will take that legal burden from you. That alone in my Techno Buffalo days would have probably saved me upwards of $10,000 from years of having to pay these things over and over and over again. Even if I did nothing wrong, just cheaper to pay it. And the fact that this exists right now for publishers and video creators, the chance to actually exhale and not worry about what's going to happen and just focus on making cool stuff. And beyond that, Firefly is designed to be transparent. Adobe founded the Content Authenticity Initiative back in 2019. This makes it easier to know what and where online content is coming from. And if you think, I don't care about this, it doesn't matter, it's just a matter of time until you're made to care about it. If you're a content creator creating images, you're using generative AI, this will come to bite you at some time or another. Think of content credentials as like the nutrition labels for digital content. You could flip it over and you could look at what's inside of the food, or in this case, inside of the image. And these labels automatically attach to the Firefly generated content. So, you know, the various people with bad intentions can't use this product to try and trick you into thinking that AI was involved as well. So you can actually see this was AI generated, it's not a real thing, or it's not done on a real person. You just get more checks and balances with it. So I know I focused a lot of the time like on this point in the video, but this is, again, really important to me. I wanted to drive this home. This focuses on safety and fairness. It just makes Firefly such an easy choice to jump into and use. So we like legit use Firefly pretty much every day in one form or another. And being in the YouTube world, obviously thumbnails are an everyday thought. It is the first thing that Google uses to evaluate if your video is going to be a success. Are people going to click on it? And that is determined almost solely from the thumbnail. And a good thumbnail versus a bad thumbnail can be a difference between a few hundred views, potentially a few hundred thousand, a few million, which ultimately translates to dollars for the business. Coming up with those thumbnails every time is not been easy. And traditionally, we've had to do that ourselves. It was all of us putting our heads together, brainstorming ideas for how to do it. Uh, with Firefly, we just type in a few keywords and we get a bunch of options. And it's not even things you're going to use, it just gives us a tool to bounce ideas off of and see where they lead. Something we usually do as a group together, talking it through, but we'll be able to input those ideas into Firefly and instantly see something visual is game changing. And also when we have an idea that we like, we can take a thumbnail and use Firefly to kind of soup it up a bit. All right, so here's a thumbnail we created generically. And here it is after using Firefly to replace the background to make it kind of pop and be a bit more interesting to the eye. And this is a tool that anybody can use. You don't have to be a big YouTuber, a small YouTuber. You don't have to have a production studio. This is something that is available to absolutely everyone. And that's just one of the examples of how we use Firefly. Another place we use it daily is with our Snapchat channels. You might not know this, but we actually run a few channels uh, on Snap and those require new graphics for each post. Uh, we have channels that talk about tech. We also have one called Geek Seat that talks about the latest like Marvel and MCU news. But with these, we're often focusing on news and upcoming content. So that means things we're talking about don't exist yet. So we have to create something that is new, representative of the topic. So in Photoshop, using the generative fill, this feature makes a process so much easier than it used to. We can now create brand new designs and tweak them in Photoshop as needed. And this is just like how we use it. Creators like everywhere have access to these tools and can use them for absolutely anything. And it is leveling the playing field. 
These are things that you needed to have incredible resources to make and do just a few years ago. And now with the Creative Cloud subscription in Photoshop, you have these tools at your fingertips and you are protected while using it. There's a digital kind of breadcrumbs trail so everybody can know when AI was being used so you don't fool anybody. And you don't have to spend money on big sets and big studios to get things to look good. It is like the ultimate level playing field. And listen, I get that this was a sponsored video by Adobe and some of you are gonna view it through that lens, nothing that I can do about it. But if you are in the creative space, even if you're adjacent to the creative space, you have an idea in your head, these tools are real and these tools are helpful and incredibly efficient. And they can save you time, they can save you money, and they can kind of give you new thoughts and ideas you never would have come up with before. It is incredible, and it's one that we use every single day. If you want to check out Firefly for yourself, you can go to firefly.adobe.com and help bring your creative vision to life.